Hey, what's up? How are you doing, girl? Hello, Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velk, and I'm going to be doing your general reading for this week. And so how this is going to go down as I'm going to be shuffling your cards, let me explain the process of everything, right? I'm going to be pulling three different rows for you. I'm going to have the first row for your current energies and what you've been dealing with in the recent past and just the current. Uh, your middle row is going to be with the blessings to come, what you can expect and like uh, what you should be active, like where the energies are actively going towards right now, what you're actively trying to manifest, Sagittarius. And then your last row is going to be about um, advice from the universe, advice from, advice from your spirit guides on what, all right, on what you should be uh, actively working on to get to these blessings. And I'm already seeing right from the get go, like, uh, really good. Uh, We'll get to it. I'll explain a little bit more what I mean, but overall, pretty really good energy, uh, Sagittarius. Um, but yeah, when it comes to any type of general reading of Sagittarius, I always ask you to rely on your intuition because I like to use examples when I'm giving readings. So I could be using the example of um, a business of some type, um, but for you personally, it could be talking about a relationship or a romantic relationship for you. Um, and so this is where I ask you to rely on your intuition, but um if this reading is a resonance to you i would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel but let's just jump into your reading now sagittarius for your first row like we have really just overall really good cards for your first row sagittarius you have the ace of fire uh for your first row in your first row first card hello can't getting into the flow of it uh ace of fire is your first card and this is talking about an exciting new endeavor so i feel like you kind of have already been in the works of doing this i kind of remember in your previous past couple of readings sagittarius that you've kind of been building up to something or maybe not necessarily to something but like you've been in the process of like trying to start anew on something i feel like for a while now you've kind of like been in the process of like self-exploration of like what you've actually liked and like who you actually are you know i think that was like one of your uh what i said in one of your readings before sagittarius is like trying to figure you've been maybe recently trying to figure out who you are without the influ outside influences without like a work influence without like a social influence without like a relationship influence um and i feel like you're on the right track with this right now for that ace of fire to step forward to you sagittarius this is telling me that you're on the right track already so i like this energy um you're kind of going in the good flow of things but there's still something that we'll have to correct here in a moment um let me explain uh but for your second card in your first row we have the two of fire which is just giving more affirmation of talking about you coming into your own um the two of fire also hints at um a new partnership or contract which is beautiful and very like a uh, something i would kind of like raise my eyebrow at in a good way though because it's like uh it goes into the, your unity card archangel sandophon uh sagittarius write down number five for numerology to look up later uh for you but the Sagittarius Archangel Sandalphon card comes forward when it talks about like seeking like-minded friends, seeking like mentorship friends, just collaborative efforts overall. So when you have the two of fire paired with that, where it's just like continue moving forward, you know, you're on the right path. This ace of fire is just talking about new opportunities. You're on the right path. And it's just like you're trailing into this, like continue moving forward into like the like you're getting a push Sagittarius um, to really start putting yourself out there and reach for collaborative things so um especially for like work or like a project of some sort or even if it comes to like a relate uh, hello even if it comes to like a relationship or something like that sagittarius this is a really good collaborative week for you your energy is going to be really like i feel as like it's going to mesh well with um other energies that you connect with so even like yeah even overall if you're not planning on doing something actively right now just uh reach out to people i feel yeah because yeah i pulled a king of coins that's like one of your clarifiers i feel like this is like a week for you sagittarius to kind of give more of your time to start introducing more of your energy that you kind of like come into your own about you know this going through the self-discovery you can't neglect the people that have been with you right i get the sensation that there's something that you had to move on from though we have the Six of Swords coming in here. There was something that you had to move on from and that's probably what caused you to go through this like self uh, exploration process. Apparently Tulip's leaving her cat hair on my tarot cards now. Um, but yeah, I feel like some something happened, some type of influence happened that caused you to like go through this awakening process. So it's through you having to like 
come to terms with something or somebody that caused you to figure more out more out about yourself that you almost went through like a hermit mode perhaps or maybe not even like a hermit mode there's just maybe like a disconnect um spiritual disconnect or like just a disconnect uh mentally with some people in your life um let's see these cards just fell out for you so yeah <laughs> okay see this is where i love tarot come on such a terrorist if you ever was a skeptic of receiving readings from me this is where you this is this is where you know what, that i'm good this is nowhere what's up so the magician card comes in as the master of all trades right so you're actively like you're on the right track like this is such a push for you right now Sagittarius so continuing doing what it is that you're doing right you're actively creating you're actively actively discovering who you are as the magician right um and as I was just talking about we pulled the um how you kind of like reclused away to like go through this awakening process and like self-discovery process with the ace of fire I pulled the hermit card for you so yeah, like this is like you went through like this hermit process and you probably had to cut out some people because the page of swords dropped out for you as well. So it's I feel like you went through like this cleansing period, but I feel like this is almost like spirit kind of giving you like a heads up of where it's just like, hey, like don't just sit in this energy, right? Don't get used to this energy, right? This is like a momentary thing. You you know, like it's great and wonderful to figure out your powers as a magician, but as a magician, you also need to learn the balance of it all as well. Um, that's where Archangel Sanofon really comes in as well. He's really good about uh, bringing, bringing energies into balance and usually works through that with like other people. So maybe that's what you need to do this week, Sagittarius, to start uh, connecting with other people that would bring you more in balance, or maybe that will help in inspire you i just feel like you need some kind of grounding energy of some sort new moon and leo confidence is the key to success so maybe sagittarius you haven't been wanting to connect with some people because of your own insecurities or maybe like maybe insecurity may be like a strong word sagittarius for you but maybe you just haven't wanted to put yourself out there because of um uh, i don't know like maybe because you just don't feel like you I don't know like i guess this is up to your story of why you choose not to but i feel like for some people the new moon and leo confidence is the keys to success i feel like you haven't reached out to certain people just because like you don't feel like you guys would give mesh right now and so like such a push from spirit to say is like no you guys your energy is going to mesh beautifully with them right now i hope i'm not showing too much chest here uh but yeah really good so far so for your second row sagittarius beautiful cards of what the blessings to come so we have the sun card which is the best card you can get in the deck sagittarius as well with the six of coins card the balance card um and then for your third card sagittarius we have the star so beautiful cards overall sagittarius like you can't really get too much better than this but there's like a little thing here that i wanted to explain because i read tarot intuitively and um, when i was pulling out the cards they were inverted the star card and the six of coins card was inverted so i uh intu intuition told me that it's overall meant to be upright for you but I feel like we, I feel still the need to talk about it and relay the message inverted as well for some people just to bring into balance. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue, but I feel it's like your son is like, a. this is a beautiful card. Like you're going to, I feel like you're going through just a self-discovery process, Sagittarius, and like your energy is going to just start really exuding you're going to like once you have to, i feel like once you get into your flow once you get into your collaborative efforts with people you're really just going to f like glow and the six of coins comes in where it's just like your people are coming out to you and trying to just like ask for handouts and this doesn't have to be financially sagittarius this could just be like people who just kind of like weigh you down or just people who like you're used to ha that you've had in your life and now that you're doing good they want you to be like hey what's up with me though um sort of thing and i feel like you're kind of needing to um go on your own a little bit sagittarius this is where like the star card comes in like these two because like this is inverted like usually with this being upright this is like a, a figure out where you can find that balance with yourself and like, giving energy to other people as i read it and with the star card that i pulled for you this being like normally this is like reaching for the stars in a cleansing time while reaching for your goal so that cleansing time would be like releasing past baggage to help you reach to that goal sort of thing Sagittarius so when this is inverted as well it was almost as if like 
you're having to like cleanse something or cleanse somebody that was asking for a handout that like, or maybe not necessarily asking for a handout, but someone that you thought you would like ride with for until the end sort of thing. But you kind of realize that the best way to help them grow is for you to focus on your own growth and to help inspire them to do their own thing rather than trying to make it work with them sort of thing. Does that make sense? Sagittarius is going to obviously be unique to each person, but I feel almost as if like the clarifiers I pull is like the Empress, like you're the Empress in this situation, right? And I pulled the two of wands as well. It's like, you're the Empress, you're claiming your power, but you're kind of realizing through looking off into the distance, like you're not going to be able to take all these people around you. You're going to have to go on your own at some point. And the Knight of Swords comes in and where it's just like, yeah, you're gonna have to cut some strings a little bit. I feel like this is like where, you know, it doesn't have to be like a person either, Sagittarius. This could be about um, really anything. This could be about like a habit that like you didn't want to like quit. Maybe it's like you found like, maybe, you know, this could be very much the energy of being like, oh, well, I don't like, drinking's not a problem for me. If I only just drink once or twice a week, like, no, like you're, this would be the energy, like you had to cut that out sort of thing so it doesn't have to be but yeah the elk card asks you to stand tall i'm going to read the card actually stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve so yeah, you just have to stand tall and set that boundary and be like hey guys like i have to do my own journey right now don't feel like i'm trying to forget you because i'm truly not sort of thing but you have just have to do your own thing um so let's get into your third row sagittarius the necronomicon um, and for your first card, we have the Nine of Wands. So yeah, like this is such a, like, you're going to have the spotlight sort of thing. I feel like <laughs> the the overall, the underlying messages with all of this Sagittarius is like with this, um, with the Unity card with Archangel Sandalphon and all these cards talking about like new connections, it's almost as if like you're having to like your new... You know how the saying goes like the, your five closest people around you are like what represent you it's almost as if you're going through like a shift and like who is going to be the five closest people around you because of how your focus is is going to shift you know it's your priorities are going to start shifting a little bit and because your priorities shift like your energy starts going in different directions and you have to stand tall in whatever it is that you feel passionately about and not feel guilted into trying to make it take other long people along with you because you just see it for what it is. You can't just make people, you know, you get it essentially. So I'm gonna not gonna continue preaching for you. But then I pulled the uh, Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords. This card has been popping up a lot for some Zodiac signs. So this doesn't surprise me. It's a lot of traction for where it's like, people are really setting boundaries. People are really setting boundaries and it's like upsetting other people and they have to be at peace with it. Um, but it's like all setting boundaries because it's just like the underlying message is like everyone's just discovering their power and everyone's like kind of discovering their paths right now and realizing that your path like by discovering your path each part each time someone discovers their path it's almost as if like you have to go on your own journey solo for a while and so everyone's been having to have like this conversation with people because they discover their their they discover their purpose and it's like they have to go live out their life's purpose and like the people that they were surrounding themselves with before it's just like what the heck is going on you know they they weren't part of this involve uh, evolving um so i pulled several oracle card oracle oracle cards for you sagittarius um for your to wrap up your reading we pulled the community card sacred wisdom manifestation and then energy balance so I feel like this is already just such a summary of like your reading. It's almost as if, cause it's just like, yeah, it's through your sacred wisdom. Like you're, you're going to be getting downloads of knowledge, I feel. And it's like through like these downloads of knowledge, you just have like a better balance of everything. And the, like, it's because of this, you have like a new community. Like there's such a push for you to start connecting with new people. Sagittarius. That's really what I want to suggest to you for this week is start connecting with new people because that's really it's going to be what helps you manifest. That's what I'm getting for you, Sagittarius. I really hope this reading is, was really helpful to you, Sagittarius. Again, if this reading was helpful to you, please give me a like and subscribe because it does help my channel out so much. Let me know which card was of resonance to you the, the most and how it pertains to you in your life. I always like to know what's going on in y'all's lives. But until next time, Sagittarius, I really hope I get the opportunity to read you again sometime. Bye.